I am going to show you exactly how I made this TV frame and took the TV from basic to ornate. And it took like 15 minutes, very few materials, very low cost. And I know you can buy TV frames for the Samsung frame TV. You can buy very beautiful decorative frames for that, but they are costly and they have limited colors and they're all very, very thick. So I, that was the main thing. I, I wasn't really into like how thick it was. So I wanted something that not, I, haven't, I hadn't seen a lot of people use. So this one is stained in dark walnut. It's a very particular trim that I ordered off of Wayfair. I'll link it below, but it is, it was so simple. It took no time at all, other than just letting the stain sit. And then um, you'll need a saw or something to cut the, pieces of trim you maybe you could use those new like shears that I've been seeing people use but we just use like a handsaw cut them at 45 degree angles measured the inside of the tv very very simple um, so I'm going to kind of show you some behind the scenes of the process but I really really love how it turned out we only did front pieces on the tv um, and you can see like the original frame from the side at a very if, when you're at a very particular angle you can see the original frame um, i didn't really care that much because you're new, normally not at that angle so um but you could add like pieces on the side if you wanted to make it even more complete so i just love how it is right now so i wanted to share all the materials i use in case you are wanting to also make a TV frame custom. We do have the Samsung frame TV, which is how the artwork is showing. Um, I don't keep it on all the time, but usually like during the day, especially if we're having people like over, we will keep it on, but it's not on like all the time, but it's a very specific feature to the Samsung frame TV, which I, we've had this TV for maybe three years now. And it's a really great TV if you're thinking about getting one. Okay, so this is the trim that I found at Wayfair. It is so beautiful. It's unfinished and I just love all of the details, but I love the width because it's 2.25 2 inches, I believe. And most of the custom frames that you can buy online are, they're not custom frames you can buy online, but the decorative frames online are closer to three inches. And I just thought that this was a good like in between. So after finding the trim that I loved, I applied a dark walnut stain on the molding that would go well with the other frames that were already in the gallery wall. I found this stain called dark walnut and it ended up being the perfect color after two coats. I just wiped it on with an old t-shirt and then did it a second time to get the color I wanted. While that was drying, I moved on to measuring how long each piece of the frame would need to be. I guess you could stain before or after cutting it, but I decided to stain before cutting. Our measurements began on the inside of the TV frame because that was where our pieces would have to match up in the corners. For our 43 inch frame TV, we came out with 37 inches on the top and the bottom and 21.5 inches for the sides. Once the stain was dry, we cut the molding to our measurements. This miter saw box has come in super handy when cutting this type of molding, especially in a smaller space and help to get a good 45 degree angle pretty quickly. This is exactly the same way that we've done all of the molding in the apartment, by the way. After finishing all the cuts, our next step was to add the command strips. We used the same Velcro style command strips that are on a bunch of the pictures in our apartment, and we placed them on the TV first to make sure that all of the adhesive was touching both surfaces. The angles lined up perfectly, and that's pretty much it. New frame for our TV in under 15 minutes, other than when the stain was drying, of course. We were also planning on adding some flat molding to the sides to cover up the gap, but you actually can't tell unless you are looking directly from a side, like I mentioned before, so we decided to leave it for now. Making this also gave us the excuse we needed to move around the gallery wall and give that an update. 
So the TV is a little higher up and it's definitely off center purposefully, but I absolutely love the way that it looks, especially when the TV is on the art mode. 